Okay, so this is going to be a long video. I mean, it's a tech review. I realize that. So I made you guys a gift. These awesome video chapters via YouTube's annotations. Like a boss. So just click any of the following titles and it'll take you straight to that part of the video. Because I know how you guys are. Less talking and more playing. However, I highly recommend you watch the entire video. I guarantee there's stuff in this video you won't want to miss. Unlike anything you have ever seen. Hey guys, it's Mark Maia, aka the Meta Man 11 from the Meta Man TV, and today I'm bringing you my very first tech review on one of the most epic pedals that Digitech has ever released and is on the market right now. Where, where's my box? Ah, cameraman, such a douchebag. The Digitech Whammy WH4, the most standard pedal on every professional's pedal board. For those of you enthusiasts and guitarists out there wondering, what is the whammy? I don't understand. It's awesome and here's how it works. The whammy is simple. The pedal takes your guitar sound and pitch shifts it using a special algorithm. Then it controls that pitch with the expression pedal. It certainly takes your playing to a new world of squeals, monster dive bombs, and bends that can only be found on other instruments. The Digitech Whammy was first engineered and manufactured in 1989 by IVL Technologies and was discontinued in 1993. It still remains as the most sought after version of the Whammy. Then, the Digitech Whammy 2 was introduced in a black chassis. This was the first Whammy pedal that had the ability to store one preset setting, which allowed the user to choose any two modes and toggle between them using the select button. Afterward, Digitech announced the release of the Digitech XP100 Whammy Wah, incorporating Wah and Whammy effects, including 29 different presets a volume control, and auto wah effects. Soon after, the Digitech Bass Whammy was introduced, looking just like the Whammy 2, but in a blue chassis with a few different controls. And finally, in the series of Whammies, the current Digitech Whammy WH-4 was released, being the closest to the WH-1 with added MIDI features, a dive bomb setting, and a new drop tune setting. This version of the Whammy was also released in the special edition chrome casing to celebrate Digitech's 20th anniversary of the pedal. Currently, some notable musicians who use this version of the Digitech Whammy, the WH-4, include Tommy Kessler from Blondie, Matthew Bellamy from Muse, and John Fushante, formerly known as the Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist. Okay, so when you get this pedal, uh, the box, you're going to notice it first was very heavy because this pedal is quite heavy. It's made out of die-cast aluminum, so it can stand some pretty serious abuse. But you'll also see that there's registration papers that you need to uh, mail so you can get your warranties on your pedal as well as a user's guide, which I highly recommend everybody reads, regardless of how expert you may be in all of your pedals, because it has an in-depth guide to the pedal itself, all of its effects, as well as all the functions for MIDI and how to set them up properly. Inside, of course, the pedal itself, Digitech Whammy WH4, has Digitech logo, die-cast metal, pretty sturdy, harmony, detune, shallow, LEDs, all that jazz. And inside the box here is the power supply, which uh, powers the pedal, and unfortunately, I own a Boss BCB60 pedal board, and it does not support this kind of voltage power. So, unfortunately, wherever you go on your pedal board, you're going to have to take this power supply with you to even work the pedal, regardless of if it has on or voltage power. So, that kind of sucks, but it's something you got to do for the pedal. You've seen the overview, you've seen the history, you've seen all the modes and everything you can do. Now, let's hear how this baby sounds. And here to help me with this part is my bass player friend and fellow YouTube member. Where's the coke? Uh, dude. Dude, hold, hold up, man. Bro, what are, you, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, my bad. Rock situation. What's up, man? Let's, let's do this. I'm a healthy mother Okay, so we're all set up here. We got Amplitude 3 running, full on. Lexicon Pro seems good to go. Digitech Whammy, we got this on the Whammy portion of the pedal. So we're gonna do some really clean tests with the clean amp, uh, basic amps from Amplitude 3 and see what it sounds like. So here we go.
And that's pretty much it for the clean portion. That's exactly how each every each and every part of this pedal sounds, basically through clean and amplitude three. So let's go ahead and kick it into high gear and uh, dish out some really famous riffs. pretty much it. That's all the sounds from the Digitech Whammy on my review. Now it's up to the consumer, of course, the guitarist, to create some of your own unique sounds. You could really go the extra mile with this pedal. Now my final review out of five stars, I'd have to give this a four star out of five. The only reason I don't give it a perfect rating because I absolutely love this pedal was because of the fact that I did have to recalibrate it because the pedal came way too tightened. Uh, when I first received this pedal from shipping and the pedal never properly returned to the right pitch so I have to calibrate it pretty much every time the pedal comes on which is a downer but uh, it's in the booklet if any of you guys ever have that problem there is a way to recalibrate it so don't, uh, don't be saddened by that but other than that this is a very very essential pedal and uh, that's pretty much it that's all I have to say about it so remember to comment like Subscribe, share this with all your friends and everything. And once again, I am Mark Maya, aka D. And I'm Ross. And Taco Man Super Funky. And um, that's been my first tech review. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> what? He could probably smell better than me if he used Old Spice Classic Deal. Get up. Now look down. Look up. Left. Right.